neighbor will sneak them in the pocket, in the head, through the window, and give the neighbors. Sometimes we'll complain. That was her. I still have a big heart. Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. Um, there's someone who asked to see my mom in today's video and I brought her. She's the chief guest today <laughs> and we are going to be doing a mom tag. For those who don't know what's a mom tag, I'm going to be asking her questions and hopefully she's going to be answering them. So mama, say hi. Hi. <laughs> so mama, I'm just going to ask you questions and my first question is, what is one funny memory you have about me? One fair, funny memory I have when you were young, before you were born, or what? Anywhere, any any age. The funny memory I have about Tashibinyangere is when she used to be young, and any time she would cry to get and be a chibi, a chibi, mami nyangere, mami, a chibi, a chibi, nyangere, kobita, a chibi, cry baby, and she would keep quiet. So the next question is, what was I as a child, like my behaviors? A very quiet girl, but uh, extravagant, extravagant. One girl who would take all my things and distribute to the neighbors, and sneak them in. I think uh, you had a, is it a, a big heart that would should do shopping, but sneak them through the window and distribute in the hall? of the flat you were staying and you were like checking fruits they were not there. Sibel so will sneak them in the pocket, in the head, through the window and give the neighbors. Sometimes we'll complain. That was her. I still have a big heart. Um, what do you like about me? Achibi Nyangere. The strength. Achibi Nyangere. The courage and the confidence. Achibi Nyangere. The fighter. Oh, the fighter. <laughs> okay, um, what is one thing you don't like about me? Uh, what I don't like about a TV is that appendigi kujipodoa. Kanapenda kuwa simple, ivo ivo. She's not a girlish person. She's not a makeup person. Na? Una samaji? Makeup. She's an ordinary girl. But uh, you know, mimi na jipenda. Mwili na roo. How can you describe me in three words? A TV. Summarize these words in three words only. It's in She can be described in ten words, so three words I don't know. Like I said, she reserved girl. So I say that that is three words. Reserve, go get her, and simple. Hiya, when when do you want me to get married? When you are ready and you're capable, I don't want you to get married and be a burden to somebody. I want to get married when you can be reliant, self-reliant. When you can also have yours. You don't want to depend on somebody. Because the moment you depend on somebody, that is the beginning of wars in the marriages. I want you to get married when you are independent, reliable. You can depend on yourself. You don't need to beg. You can do without. Yes, yeah. I, uh, um, if you will change something about me, what would you change? I would change the makeup, the <laughs> color, the 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 color, I had a girl, I'd had two boys before and uh, the conception was an accident because I still needed some space but then I realized I was pregnant, I was hiding it, kuficha ficha, then finally God knew that the desire I wanted was a baby girl and poof, the easiest girl to give birth to but a very difficult pregnancy period that almost killed me. <laughs> How old when how old were you when you had your first child? Mm, I think uh, 20. 20? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what ha what has been the hardest thing about being a mom? Oh, I've been thinking that you really want the best for your children. 
and you are straining so much that God makes it happen and keep on praying and hoping and want them to be the way you want to be, yet they want to be themselves. Yeah, but you have to cope with it. <laughs> um, what is the best memory that you have about childbirth? The best memory is when I walked to the labor room and I, and I had, you know, all the pregnancy I had, had labored. The first pregnancy was three days labor. The second pregnancy was almost one month labor. But the best pregnancy was Sibel that I walked to the labor room and whoop, the baby was born. Aww. That's a memory I never forget. <laughs> never stressed me a minute. Uh, what habit do I have that makes you proud? The drive to not never give up. That one I'm happy about. Never give up. Striving. Nothing puts you down. Focus. <laughs> um, have you changed as a person ever since you became a mom? Mm, a lot. See, I used to love myself. I used to be a micro, micro mini lady. I used to be a Luciana Wakuba, my pipes, Nakuba, my mini skirt, Nakuba, my short. But marriage brought me here. <laughs> You're wearing long, long dresses. Long dresses. I can't put the pipes. I can't put the micro mini. I can't put my shorts. I'm a mother. Uh, did you? Did you? Um. I did you imagine you will become a mom at the age you became a mom? It never crossed my mind. I never even thought I would get married in the first place. I just found myself married. Never thought about it. I never even had time to think that I want to get married. It just happened. Um, where would you like me to be in 10 years? In Europe. <laughs> just that. See, when you're in Europe, Europe, I can also be walking in the streets of Europe. So I, you want to be in these slums? What are you doing here? <laughs> if you go in Europe, yeah, I'm definitely in the Europe. I want the best for you in 10 years. I want you to have settled down and have a better life. I don't want to see somebody regretting, crying, calling me, Mom, see like you cool. I want you to be stable. I want to see you somewhere high. I don't know where, where God has for you, but it has to be a better place. Amen. Yeah, better place than this. What's your, um, your most embarrassing mom moment? Embarrassing mom moment when I, I just conceived my new after six months of age, being mom, and I was so embarrassed. Was it you were six months old and I was pregnant again? It was embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Mama, what advice would you give to girls and boys who are in my age group, maybe 18 to 25, something like that? 18 to 25. Both girls and boys? To the girls. I always say there's only seven uh, passion. When I was growing up, my father told me. As a girl, don't be a toilet, dumping site for men. So I keep on telling girls, don't be a dumping site, be a focused person. Because a future awaits for those who are capable to work hard. Do not allow yourself to be wasted. As a girl, focus, focus, focus. For what you have, it can take you in here. For men, I know the young men of current age, uh, they are like the one to be Bill Gates in a day. Or two but I say work smart when you work smart and not in a hurry you can get anything I always say this to the youth in my life, that determination is the very th only thing you have if you lose you can lose everything else in this world but you're determined to make it you can be anything so long as you have the drive and determination sky cannot be your limit Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> hey, I think that that's just all. Hi, bye. <laughs> so guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment about what you want you'll want us to do again with my mom because she's ready. See your mom for any time. <laughs> yeah, and she loves you guys so much, just the same way as I love you. So we've come to the end of this video. So we are going to say. Bye. Mom, say bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.